This is the Alabama Orthopedic Clinic D1 Training High School Football Preview Show. And tonight, uh, Dr. Kevin Donahoe is with us here. We're going to talk about, uh, uh, he's a spine specialist, but one of the things that you hear about, and it's, it's almost, um, it's one of those injuries that it's like just a stinger. You know, it's, and it's, it, is that just, is that a, is that a injury that's probably better well known now that you understand that it was, but maybe back 30, 40 years ago when coaches were just like, yeah, just get back in there. It's just yeah. a stinger, right? Some dirt on it, get <laughs> back in the game. Right. Yeah. yeah, so what it is, it's a stretch injury to the brachial plexus. And the brachial plexus is a bundle of nerves that live underneath your collarbone and at the base of your neck. And so what happens is uh, you take a hit in a collision sport and you have a, uh, some compression of that. The shoulder goes down, the head goes the other way, and you get a burning sensation down the arm. That's why it's called a burner or a stinger. Right. And it usually lasts seconds or minutes. Mm -hmm. That's the more common scenario that would happen. The ones that last a minute, they feel, minutes, they feel like they're lasting hours, though. Right? Correct. That's right. Yeah. It goes on. We've talked with other doctors here, whatever injury we're talking about, and preventative maintenance training. I mean, this seems like a uh, like this seems like a little different type to yeah. how do you how would how do you prevent that or how do you train to not get those? Well, it's important to keep the neck muscles strong because uh, you have two components, the depression of the shoulder, so it's important to have good strength and range of motion in your shoulders, and then support of the uh, muscles around your neck. But you're right, it's, uh, it's a different kind of thing. So yeah. when you're playing collision sports, um, you know, it can happen in car wrecks, uh, it can happen with wrestlers. Walking into the door jam, a lot of have done that. Yeah. Vic Lockett <laughs> put you on your head. I mean, it would be <laughs> that, a similar the, kind that of That would be the least, a stinger would be the least injury concern if Vic Lockett <laughs> did that to uh, either one of us. And how he's not done it to either one of us yeah. over all these years, we Miracle. don't, we, we, don't uh, yeah. we don't, we don't know. So, uh, but usually it is one of those things, it's, it's not a long-term injury. No, it's going to go away. Uh, you start working about it if you have any weakness involved so if you have weakness of the arm that lasts for a day you need to see the doctor uh, you need to differentiate it from other conditions uh, people that have weakness that persists people that have bilateral symptoms so so uh, pain numbness tingling weakness in both arms uh, you can have a condition called spinal stenosis mm -hmm. and you verify that and look for that with a uh, an MRI but you know for the most part it's going to be something that very transient goes away once the player, particularly in football, is symptom free, uh, certainly doesn't have any weakness, they can mm -hmm. go back and play again. If you differentiate it from a more serious spine injury, uh, that's gonna usually involve a lot of neck pain, uh, numbness in the arms, potentially weakness, that needs to be respected and treated as a spinal cord injury. And probably the uh, the most scary and, uh, it's, it's probably the first one that you get because you, you've never experienced it before. And so Correct. you're like, what? What is, what is that? I mean, that's, that's, right. uh, that's probably going to be the worst one, right? Yeah. Uh, so, you know, Reuben Foster at Alabama. I've heard of him, yes. He had a lot of these. Uh, and then he came back and played and had a big cowboy collar on. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that you can do to try to prevent them if you're prone to them. You must have been getting him in high school because he had that on when we saw him playing at Auburn we High School. On, against uh, McGill. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's big, right. yeah. Wilbur Marshall, like... Uh, <laughs> back in the day. Yes, back in the day. All right, so uh, keep your shoulders strong. Right, and, and Neck strong. And don't... Don't get thrown down by Vic Lockett. That's, exactly. That's what we don't want to do. <laughs> that's the main thing. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. All right, stay me. here. Uh, appreciate it. All right, uh, Kevin Donahoe, doctor with us, talking about uh, spine injuries and shoulder injuries here from AOC. We'll take a time out. When we come back, we're going to find out more about our 5A matchup tonight. Viger and Citronelle right here on UTV 44.